Hey everybody, it's Chris Kitty, and today I'd like to kind of tell you my cosplay story and tell you what cosplay means to me. I feel like it's really important to make these videos, especially now that I've hit an amazing milestone of 11,000 likes on my page. Oh my goodness. I honestly never thought anything like that could happen. I mean, I never thought I, could, I would even pass a thousand, honestly. I just think it's so incredible that there are so many people who are continually finding my work, continually supporting me, and it really pushes me to be better at my craft and try new things and sort of showcase what I've learned over the years. And I think that's very important to have a group of people who are behind you in your hobby and who support you. So I'd like to thank you all for that first off. And Basically, with this video, I kind of wanted to tell you all that cosplay is one of the most important things in my life. I love it so much. It's given me friendship. It's given me happiness, love, light, positivity. I just love the feeling of putting on a cosplay and going to a convention and just walking around, talking to people, standing in little groups sort of meeting people you never thought you'd meet anywhere but a convention because a lot of times like-minded people gather in conventions so it's very cool having all of these like-minded people in one space so that's what I love about the convention atmosphere and it's just it's a lot of fun I mean it's one of the most fulfilling things I think to me because even though cosplay can be very very stressful it can be time consuming and it can be expensive it's definitely a worthwhile hobby for me. So cosplay, the first thing cosplay would mean to me is it's a way of self-expression. It's a way to challenge myself. It's a way to sort of push myself out of my boundaries and my comfort zone, help me take on new challenges, help me to make things that I didn't think I could. And it helps me learn skills. Like I'm I will admit I'm not the best with the sewing machine, but I've learned so much over the years. I've looked at a lot of tutorials. I've had friends come and teach me, sit down at the sewing machine and teach me different things. So that's pretty cool. So it's really nice um, to meet friends in cosplay. I guess that's my second point. Um, along with self-expression, there's, you know, as I spoke about before, meeting like-minded people. And there's also um, sort of a network of people who have, as I said, like interests and who share your passion for your hobby. And what's cool is that if you have a lot of cosplayers that live near you, you can have a crafting night, you can have a sewing night, you can have an armor party. I know that's what a lot of um, the uh, 501st groups do. They have armor parties and they kind of just hang out at one person's house and they all work on their respective armor pieces. So that's really, really cool. So when you build this community and you meet these friends, you, I especially uh, felt kind of a change in myself. I, when I was younger, I never thought that I would be the type of person to make that many friends. But through cosplay, I've met more people than I could have ever imagined. I mean, I have so many friends in the cosplay community and I treasure each and every one of you. You're all so special to me. And even though I may only see some of you at cons, I really wish we could hang out a lot more. I wish we could have, you know, a lot of the crafting and the armor parties. But unfortunately, I only live next to about two or three, not next to, but within relative distance of about like a couple of my cosplayer friends. And, you know, with schedules, it's kind of so hard to get everybody together. But the friends you meet in cosplay are lifelong friends. And even though there might be drama or trouble with some people I have been lucky enough to not have that in my life and I'm very very thankful that I have not experienced any of that and I hope to continue to not experience that because it's not fun so I've been very lucky with that um I remember the first time that I did sort of a notable cosplay it was back in RTX 2013 uh, I remember watching uh, before the con, a lot of the trailers, and I was like, ooh, I want to do Ruby, I want to do White. It's like every single trailer that came out, I wanted to do that specific girl. But then, at the end came Yang, and I was like, hmm, I like her. So, I chose Yang as my first Ruby girl that I cosplayed, and she became a part of me, you know? I mean, she was a brawler, she was strong, she was tough, she was confident, she was kind of everything that I wasn't, and... I took a lot of what she embodied in her character and I 
embodied it and it felt amazing. I remember walking up and down the convention floor and getting so many compliments on my costume and granted it was not the best. It was one of my first costumes that I ever made so you know things were amiss, little mistakes were made, but I was able to fix a lot of them when I remade her that next year for Zenkai Con and then a couple years later at uh, KatsuCon this past year. That was I believe the best my Yang has looked I think. So that was really cool but it just gave me sort of a sense of like confidence and happiness when I just walked around and talked to people and met other Ruby fans and just kind of soaked in a positive glow. So cosplay brought me a lot of positivity and happiness in my life and it gave me a lot more confidence and I like that a lot. Cosplay is one of those things where it's a very hands-on hobby for some people. I mean you could choose to buy your costumes, that's totally cool. I've bought some of mine, there's absolutely no shame in that, but when you get down to it like super nitty gritty when you get in there with your hands and you have like all of your reference pictures spread out and you're at your sewing machine and you're just kind of humming away or you know you're spray painting your armor it's just there's a really nice piece that kind of comes over you unless you're doing con crunch and there is no piece during con crunch but when you're kind of just relaxed and doing it when you have you know your set schedule when you have all your time portioned out when you're not in a rush there's just a really nice calm that comes from working towards a goal and kind of doing something that is productive. Like even though it's a tiny piece of a larger costume, you're still working towards getting the bigger picture done. And that's another thing that I like from cosplay. Cosplay is a really, really nice way to not only achieve a goal, but measure your production and your um, progress over a certain amount of years. I like that. You know, your production rate increases as you grow faster at the craft because you've become adept at certain skills. You can do things more quickly than you used to be able to, or you can do things better. You know, your seams are cleaner, or for example, your your armor is smoother. There's lots of like little tiny ways that you can measure your individual progress with cosplay, so that's really cool. It's a great benchmark for how far you've come. Not only um, as a crafter, but for me as a person, I mean... <laughs> A lot of the time uh, I think about past conventions and I'm thinking, wow, I'm a lot more organized. I was able to make more panels this time. I planned out better. I was able to complete it at an earlier date than I did last time. So that's also really cool. It's a way to measure your own growth and it's a way to measure your growth as a crafter. So that's pretty neat. So basically cosplay has kind of saved my life in a way. It's given me a bit of a purpose. It's given me something that I love, that I look forward to. I love making new costumes. I love going to conventions. And it really helps me be focused because when I plan certain things out with specificity, it makes me feel better because I'm like, okay, I have allotted this amount of time to do this so I don't have to panic. And I have backup time built into this. So even if something does go wrong, I have a period of time to fall back on. So it's not like the night before the convention. And, you know, I've done Con Crunch. We've all been there. Ask any seasoned cosplayer. They've probably done Con Crunch at least twice in their life. But it's nice when you're not <laughs> rushing around because it gives you sort of like that uh, serenity and that peace. And cosplay has, I don't know, it's just kind of made me, especially with the fact that I kind of have an online presence. I mean, I'm, I'm not by any means dropping the word famous at all. All. I'm just saying I do have a tiny bit of an online presence so I've had people come up to me and know who I am that's a bit of a strange feeling but it's also super cool I'm like wow I'm so flattered that you follow my work and you know me in real life wow let's be friends sort of that cool um, sort of it's like kind of being reverse starstruck in the fact that you're so surprised that people know who you are and they follow your work and they know who you are not only as a crafter but also as a person and it's really cool um meeting people that you followed online for a while in person it's a really amazing experience and one of my favorite things about cosplay is makeup hands down like if you ask me to pick my favorite part of cosplay would be makeup i love it i love it so much like even though a lot of my characters don't really have anything that intricate I still like practicing the makeup skills that I've learned for like my everyday face on a cosplay character I think it's pretty neat and um, I would 
love to be a makeup artist one day. That's one of my sort of pipe dreams that I have right now. I would really enjoy that. I mean, putting makeup on other people, helping people find their right look, it would just be so much fun. So cosplay is kind of helping me hone those skills with makeup and I really enjoy that. So that's another thing that cosplay has brought me. Cosplay is just a lot of really great positive things for me and I'm really happy that I made this video because there are certain times in your life where things get busy and you feel like you need to refocus on certain things and I feel like Saying all of these things aloud and sharing them with you guys made me feel a lot better. I mean, I unfortunately haven't been able to create for a bit. I'm actually currently working in order to save up money to start my costumes. My next scheduled convention is not until uh, next April. I'll be going to Zenkai Con again. It's like my home con. I go every year. I love it so much and I always have so much fun. I... I'm thinking of going to uh, maybe some smaller cons in between. Ideally, I'd like to go to KatsuCon or MAGFest, but I'm not sure about room situations or anything there, so I'd have to look into that further. But Zenkai Con is a go, I know that for sure. But I'd also like to uh, shoot with some of my friends. Like, I'm actually thinking of making some more, like, kind of simple costumes just to, you know, practice my skills, learn new things sort of type deal. And I want to uh, do some photo shoots with my friends who live really close, like not really a convention cosplay, but something that's more for a photo shoot. I would like to get more prints up in my print shop because I know I haven't updated it in a while. I'm sorry, guys. And by the way, um, my print sale is still going on. You can use my code uh, BDAY22 until tomorrow to save 20% on your entire order. I know that's kind of a late announcement, but I've been trying to plug it as much as I can on Twitter and my Facebook page. It's sort of my gift to you because you guys have been so amazing and I just turned 22, so hence the B-Day 22. I really wanted to give back to you all because you've been, you have all been my rock in a lot of difficult times. Like I've said, you know what? I shouldn't give up on this because there are so many people who are believing in me. I need to push on. I need to continue to do better. I need to continue to make myself into the best cosplayer that I can be. And I love that. So I really do want to thank you all for that. I am eternally, eternally grateful for all of your support, all of your kind comments, and etc. So to end this video, um, it was really nice to kind of reflect on what cosplay has done for me. It's brought me a lot in my life. And I'm very grateful that I kind of decided to pick up this hobby because it's really changed me for the better. And just having like tiny little like reflective sessions like this, I feel like is very healthy, especially when you feel like you're kind of lost. I feel like I have a really nice focus to fall back on now. And I'd like to start sketching up some of my designs. Uh, if I have something solid in mind i will let you guys know via all my social media i will announce any costumes that i plan on doing or making i have one in particular that i'd really like to do while it's still summer so keep an eye out for that <laughs> i'm actually gonna um enlist the help of one of my friends because it's a sort of material that i haven't sewn before so i'd like to learn how to work with that so i'm pretty excited about that but Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for joining me once again on my channel. I really appreciate your support. I am almost to a thousand subscribers on here and that is fantastic. So if you like this video, please like, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe should you wish to. Every subscription gets me closer to a thousand and that is absolutely wonderful. So I really appreciate the time if you do so. And um, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of the weekend. You guys are so awesome. I know I say that every time, but it's true. And you guys continue to get more awesome. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. And I will see you guys next time I turn the camera on. Bye!